Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, the snowpack outside continues to compress and settle with melting temperatures today, topping out in the 40s. Live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar high and dry, no precipitation and a clear to partly cloudy skies. So things looking good in that regard, though, with the melting snow today and temperatures eventually falling below freezing later tonight. A little bit of black ice on some of the streets, so be aware of that. Partly cloudy skies in Providence right now, temperatures in most spots in the low 40s, so overall not a bad day as we check out weather headlines, which includes, well, some uh, black ice later tonight. Of course, some of the snow banks melting, that water kind of drips mainly on the, on the edges of the road and with temperatures falling below freezing, some black ice, as you would expect with falling temperatures. Light snow in the forecast, but not until late tomorrow night. And at this point, uh, only small accumulations. We're not getting a big storm here. We'll show you that in just a second. Best chances for accumulations on Wednesday night would actually be along the immediate south shore. Temps down in most spots, low 40s from New Bedford to Newport. Uh, westerly now checking in 44 and Block Island at 41 degrees. Here's the wider view showing uh, some patchy clouds streaming through right now. Snow showers upstate New York and northern New England will stay away. We are setting up uh, for a quiet night. And then notice how temperatures overnight tonight eventually getting to near and just below uh, the freezing mark. And again, that will lead to a little bit of black ice, mainly on some of these uh, secondary roads, your walkway, your driveway, and things like that. Getting real close. Future cash, just follow the clock right up in here, starting at 7 o'clock this evening and beyond. Generally clear, a few patchy clouds. This is 7 in the morning with some sunshine, keeping the sun through tomorrow afternoon. But by tomorrow evening, clouds are on the increase. And then late tomorrow night, you see the precipitation just offshore, more than likely will be a little further to the north, grazing the south coast, especially uh, with some light snow. But it's a fast mover. It's fairly weak and it heads out to sea. In fact, by Thursday morning and Thursday afternoon, uh, we get back into some sunshine. As we take a look at the accumulations, this would be realized by daybreak Thursday, and this is only minor stuff. Little, if any, in our northern suburbs are dusting to an inch or two, especially as you get closer and closer to the south shore. Keep in mind, some of our computers actually have the system heading out to sea completely missing us. But at this point, we're thinking perhaps small uh, kind of dusting to an inch or two accumulations in our southern suburbs for this evening and tonight. Generally clear 32 early in the evening then dropping down to the upper 20s sunshine tomorrow morning. Watch for some black ice and some side streets and then during the afternoon. Once again, we get temperatures back up to above the freezing mark. Seven day outlook showing an OK Wednesday that snow coming in again. It's, it's really very late on excuse me right here. Very late on Wednesday night, probably after midnight. Night. Wash with some slick spots early in the morning. Snow after midnight. It should end early on Thursday morning, but some coatings to an inch or two on the ground, especially in our southern suburbs. Though I do expect the sunshine to come out later Thursday morning and Thursday afternoon. That snow potential for the weekend, I mean, it's still worth watching, but latest data that we've been looking at suggesting that uh, we're going to escape most of that as the bulk of the storm system should stay offshore. Still don't want to write it off yet, but right now we're keeping both Saturday and Sunday dry. Chance of a flurry on Saturday and sunshine, windy and colder on Sunday with a temperature at 35. Just kind of a small uh, accumulation coming up late tomorrow night. We're not talking about a big storm. Groundhog was wrong. Yeah, he was. Yes, he was. <laughs> All right, thanks, Tony. More coverage you can count on still ahead on Eyewitness News.